I'll be honest with you, I'm super excited about this. I'm recording this video even before I have the results, so I have no idea which is the fastest WordPress VPS host. Now, for some of you, you may not even know what VPS or virtual private server is. In your mind, when talking about web hosting, you're probably thinking Bluehost, HostGator, SiteGround, and all those popular hosting services on the market. Some of them, like GreenGeeks and Bluehost, do provide VPS hosting as well, but they are way expensive. Like 30 to 40 bucks per month it's crazy so here i'm sharing with you a big upgrade for your wordpress sites virtual private servers like those on this video are less than 10 bucks per month depending on the size of your website it is much cheaper than most shared hosting services so you don't have to worry about getting burned by those renewal fees and most importantly it solves most of the site speed problems we have on google PageSpeed insights just take for example this site that i use for my woocommerce tutorial it is hosted on siteground and when I run a Google PageSpeed Insights test, it is getting a 55 to 65 points max. And I totally understand why. It uses sliders and it draws WooCommerce information from the database. So it is JavaScript heavy and most of the time, it slows down the site. And if you check out the optimization opportunities, I've done almost every possible optimization with WP Rocket, Imagify and SG Optimizer. So there is nothing more to optimize. But when I put this exact copy of the site on another domain hosted on a VPS, I removed WP Rockets, Imagify and SG Optimizer, but I replaced it with Lightspeed Cache. It is getting a score of 95 and above on Google PageSpeed Insights without doing anything manual. That's the power of VPS hosting and I think this is the missing piece of the puzzle when it comes to site speed optimization. Sure, it is a little technical but there's just a few steps to set it up. I'm not a technical person but after spending time installing and troubleshooting WordPress on these servers, I think I can create a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to set it up with ease. So subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so we will miss that tutorial coming soon on my channel. Now, not all virtual private servers are fast and that's what we are going to figure out today. I want to know which is the fastest of all. So what I've done is I've set up an account with these VPS hosting servers and these are the plans that I've used. They are all around the same price and I've installed something called Cyber Panel to manage the server and the site. When you are using VPS, you are essentially managing the server on your own unless you want to spend a lot more money to have a managed service like what green geeks or bluehost has and that's why having a control panel like cyber panel is important and then i've used these domains on the respective servers and have uploaded the same files and database of the website i've just shown you so for this test we have nine identical looking websites that use the same images javascripts css and html resources and i've configured them exactly the same way Way. So on equal grounds, we will run hundreds of Google PageSpeed Insights tests on each of these domains over five days. I've done manual testing and have also relied on an automation tool to run Google PageSpeed Insights tests. For the manual test, I've done tests almost every waking hour of the day for five days. And each time I do a test, I will do it three times. And as for the automated testing tool, I rely on a tool called PageSpeed Plus. I've paid for the premium version so that it can conduct hourly tests. So all in all, I've collected hundreds of data points for each domain. To have a clear indicator as to which is the fastest VPS host, we are going to consolidate the data to get an overall average of all the results. And as always, the objective is to be fair and transparent. Now I'm using my wife's laptop to do all the testing and that's why you are seeing the pings and don't worry it didn't affect my wife's day to day as she has another work laptop. Anyway, the reason I'm showing this to you is because I want you to know that I actually took the time almost every waking hour of the day for 5 days to record this test. I'm not just saying that I did the test and here's the results, I have actual proof of it. Now the testing part is merely the easiest part of all. The hard part was the data entry, it took almost an entire day to go through the recordings and manually put a number onto a spreadsheet. And then I've got to double check on the results so I know I wasn't making any mistakes. And the hardest part of all is trying to resist myself from taking a peek at the results before adding all the data points. I was so excited and at the same time, it was exhausting. Anyway, what you 
you're seeing in the background are the recordings of the test. I have over 50 of them and even if I fast forwarded all the videos a hundred times, it will probably take 20 minutes or so to complete. So I don't want to waste your time. I will eventually upload all the recordings on my blog for you to review, but it will take some time for me to write the blog. And when it is published, I will leave a link in the description. Anyway, I'll stop the testing videos here. Now it is time to check out the results from the automated tool. All right, so here we are on the dashboard of the Automated 2 PageB Plus. And as you can see, these are the results of the last test conducted. It is not the average of all the tests done. So we have to click through to each of them and then view it on Google Sheets. Now I can't really get an average of the results because some of them has this inverted comma here. So I have to turn all this data into numbers before I can get an average. So let me do the necessary. And here we go. As you can see, this is the average of all the tests done. And for Valter, it is getting a mobile score of 93. And before I go on further, these are the requirements from Google PageSpeed Insights to get a good score. Now for the largest contentful paint, Valter falls in the need improvement range. The same goes for first input delay. And as for the cumulative layout shift, it is zero, which means it has passed this core web vital. Anyway, these are the three core web vitals from the latest Google algorithm update called page experience. Anyway, the first contentful paint is 1.6 seconds, which is in a good range. The speed index is 1.8 seconds, which is also in a good range. The time to interactive is two seconds, which is also in a good range. For the total blocking time, it is 62 milliseconds. It's also in the good range. So overall, Valter did quite a good job other than these two core web vitals. But the question is, is it good enough to be compared with the others? So let's check it out. Let's head over to the next server. We have DigitalOcean. Let's do the same thing here. Now, as you can see, for DigitalOcean, it is getting a much better mobile score than Valter. The largest contentful pane is 2.5 seconds, which is just a little shy of the passing mark. For the first input delay, it is also a little above the passing mark. The CLS is standard across all the domains, so this is quite expected. The first contentful pane is 1.6 seconds. It is comparable to Valter, but it is just a little bit faster. And for the speed index, it is 2 seconds. It is much slower than Valter. And as for the time to interactive, DigitalOcean is a little faster than Valter. And for the total blocking time, DigitalOcean is a little slower than Valter. But overall, I would say DigitalOcean performed better because the results of these two core web vitals, it's a little better than Valter. Now let's go to the next. We have Linode and let's check out the Google Sheets. Let's do the same thing. Now, it seems that Linode is doing better than Valter. In this automated test, the largest contentful pane is 2.6 seconds. It's almost comparable to DigitalOcean as well as Valter, but Linode is in the middle. The same goes for the first input delay. The cumulative layout shift is expected. The first contentful pane is 1.6 seconds, similar to the other two. Speed index is almost similar to DigitalOcean. And for time to interactive, it's scored between DigitalOcean and Valter as well the total blocking time, it came in first. So the current standing for this test is DigitalOcean, followed by Linode and then Valter. Let's go to the next. We have Contabo. Now we seem to have a winner here. We have a score of 96, which is better than the other three. The largest contentful pane is 2.1 seconds, which passed the first core web vitals, but it did not pass the first input delay, but still it is the fastest of all. The CLS is expected. The first contentful pane, it is the fastest. It is running 1.4 seconds, and it has a 1.8 seconds for speed index, which is a little slower than Valter, and it is the fastest in terms of the time to interactive, as well as the total blocking time. Now, this is the first server out of the CloudWaste platform, and it is showing a much better result. I am hopeful that the other servers will get a better results than this. So let's check it out. Let's check out inter server, open up in Google Sheets, and let's do the necessary. Okay, we have the poorest score of all up to this stage. Inter server is getting a score of 87 on mobile, and it has the worst performing results of all. So we'll just note this down and move on to the next server. Let's go to Kamatera. And here we go. 
Kamatera is getting a mobile score of 93, which is the same as Valter. It is a little faster than Valter in terms of the largest contemptful paint, but still slower than the best performing ones. It has quite a poor first input delay. The CLS is expected. For the first contemptful paint, it is shy of 12 milliseconds to get into the green zone. It is at the bottom in terms of speed index, although it is still in the passing zone. The same goes for the time to interactive and the total blocking time. Now let's go to the next server. Let's go to Sky Silk. And here we go, Skyseal is not performing any better than the rest. It's performing just a little better than Inter Server, which is not good enough. All the scores are better than Inter Server. That lands itself in the second place from the bottom. And now let's go to the next server. Let's go to Alta Holes. And now we have another top contender. It is getting a mobile score of 96, which is similar to Contabo. It ranks second in terms of the largest contemptful paint, and it is the only one that passes the first input delay, and the CLS is expected. So based on these three core web vitals, Alta Host is the one and only server that passes all three core web vitals for this heavy loading website. In terms of the first contemptful paint, it is in the mid-range for the speed index. It is also in the mid-range for the time to interactive, it ranks number two and as for the total blocking time it is in the mid range as well so just for passing these three core web vitals i'm ranking alta host at number one up to this point hopefully the final server we are going to check out performs better than alta host so let's check it out the final host we are going to check out is vps dime Now, unfortunately, VPS Dime did not score better than Alta Host or Contabo. It got a mobile score of 95, which is the same as Digital Ocean and Lino. Now, as for largest contentful pain, it is very close to passing, but it did not. It did not pass the first input delay as well, which leaves Alta Host the only one which passes all the core web vitals for this heavy loading web page. For the first contentful pain, it is faster than a lot of the other servers. It is one of the slowest in terms of the speed index, mid range in terms of the time to interactive, as well as the total total blocking time. So let's put this into ranks. The first I would say is Alta Host. I don't know if any one of you have heard about this web hosting service. I am very surprised by this result. The second goes to Contabo. Third goes to Digital Ocean. And what's surprising is Valter getting a sixth position. I thought it should perform better than most. But anyway, we are not just relying on the results from the automated test. We still have to consider the results from the manual testing. So now let's analyze the data from the manual test. So here we are at the manual testing spreadsheet. As I said earlier, I had to review every one of the testing videos and key in a number here. And as you can see, I have lots of results here and I won't waste your time and I'll just go to the final results. Now the results here are very different from the automated tests, but we can see that Alta Host is performing the best, followed by Valter, and then we have Digital Ocean in the third place followed by Kamatera. Now the next is hard to compare because we are comparing between Contabo, Linode, as well as VPS Dime. Three of them have a score of 93 for mobile. Linode is a little faster in terms of the first contentful paint. VPS Dime is faster in terms of the speed index. They all have the same score for largest contentful paint as well as time to interactive. But when it comes to the total blocking time, the fastest goes to VPS Dime. So in this sense, VPS Dime won the fifth position. Linode won the sixth position. And Contabo fell from the second place to the seventh place, which is quite shocking. And then next we have Sky Silk followed by InterServer. The first and the last position are quite consistent with the automated test. The challenge is figuring out which are the fastest between these. So let's consolidate all the results and we will give them a final rank. Now, having said that, if you haven't noticed, out of all the servers over here, Alta Host is the cheapest and the fastest of all. And this is the host that I will most likely use for all of my websites. But there are a few more contenders I like to compare it with, like Mechanic Web. It's a host that I discovered after doing this test. But I will not specifically create a video for that. I will probably leave it to the last video I do for web hosting, which is to compare all the VPS together with the shared hosting plans. So stay tuned for that, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you won't miss that video. Now let's check out the final results. So I've consolidated the results from the manual test as well as the automated test in one sheet. And this is exciting for me because I have not seen the results yet. So let's do an average between the automated results and the manual results. 
And then let's check out all the results here. Now just to double confirm it is getting all the right results. And yes, we are. Here's the final results. Let's open this up a little so we can see the point difference. And from here, we can see that Alta Host is the only one that got a mobile score of 95. And it's the fastest in terms of the total blocking time. Second, in terms of the time to interactive. Second, as well, in terms of the largest contentful paint. Fifth, in terms of the speed index. Sixth, in terms of the first contentful paint. But well, it is the only one that passes all the three core web vitals. Now, let me add in the first input delay as well, which should be considered into this test. So for the first place, it is clear that Alta Host is the fastest VPS server. The challenge comes when assessing number two, because we have one, two, three, four, and five servers getting a score of 94. Now let's base this on the core web vitals. Contabo is getting the fastest in terms of the first input delay. It is the fastest in terms of the largest contentful pain as well. It is one of the fastest in terms of the total blocking time, as well as the time to interactive. And it is the fastest in terms of the first contentful paint. So Contabo should be ranked number two. Next, let's check out the third place. We have Digital Ocean that is scoring 128 milliseconds, which is the fastest out of the four. As for the largest contentful paint, it is the fastest, but it is the close match with VPS Dime. It has the slowest total blocking time out of the four. It has the fastest time to interactive out of the four as well, middle position in terms of the speed index, as well as the first contentful paint. So this is really tough. All I can say at this point is these servers are fast, so it doesn't really matter which position they are in. But we still have to give them a position. So I would say for the third place, I would choose Digital Ocean because it has the fastest first input delay out of the four. And the difference between these and this for the largest contentful paint, it is three milliseconds. So I will place Digital Ocean in number three and VPS Dime in number four. And between Valter and Linode, Linode is the clear winner. Now number seven goes to Kamatera. Even though it is in the seventh position, it is still fast in general. Now for the 8th position, it goes to SkySilk and the last position goes to InterServer. These two VPS servers are considered slow in my opinion. So here we go. This is the final result. Now I'll be doing another video showing you how to set up Cyber Panel on Alta Host if it happens to be one of the fastest after all the tests. And I'll be showing you how to create a new website as well as transferring websites to Alta Host. So if you're worried about the technical issues, I'm gonna solve that issue for you. So you don't need to waste a lot more money spending on those managed services. My focus is of course number one speed and then comes the security when it comes to assessing this web host. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so because there'll be a lot more useful videos for you, especially when it comes to building fast and amazing websites on WordPress. So what do you think of this test? Were you as surprised as me when we discovered that Alta Host is the fastest yet the cheapest of all? I'm actually very happy to know the results of this test. I don't really care which is the most popular of all because at the end of the day, everything reflects in the performance. So if you want to get into Alta Host, I hope you can use this link to sign up with them. I will be posting a tutorial showing you how to set up and move your site over to Alta Host step by step. I really hope that Alta Host will remain the fastest because there is just one more test I'm going to conduct before I conclude my journey to finding the fastest and cheapest hosting plan for my sites. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up as it will help this video reach out to others who need this information. All the best to you, take care and stay safe. I'm sorry.